What did Jesus look like? Was he black? Was he white? Was he was he Asian? Was he Middle Eastern? Actually, um, I don't need to take that long to explain the answer. Um, Jesus was a Middle Eastern Jew. Um, that's not really debatable. So, um, I'm not sure if I need to do another episode about this. We imagine so many different things when we think about what Jesus looked like. Well, here's the good news. Jesus didn't look like this or this or even this. They're all wrong. And I'm going to show you today something that you probably haven't seen before, and it's actually the earliest depiction of Jesus. And it is it's crazy. It's actually a piece of graffiti, and it's, um, well, it's going to really surprise you. Welcome to What the Heaven, where it's good to ask questions. Every week I answer people's questions that they send in to me on Instagram, on the comments down below, hopefully someday on email, on Facebook Messenger too. But a few weeks ago, somebody named S. The Babs, I have no idea what that means, but cool username, they sent me this. I got an idea. What did Jesus look like? I saw something online that they figured out what Jesus looked like. How true is this? I love this question because it's it's so controversial right now. Some people think that we should get rid of every picture of Jesus where he looks white because they believe that it, it contributes to the Americanization or the Westernization of Jesus. Jesus wasn't American and Jesus wasn't white. So what should we do with these paintings? First, we gotta look at the famous one. The one I know you imagine, the one I know you've seen a million times. Let's look at it, figure out why it's wrong, and then I'm gonna show you some of the paintings that are the most accurate of what Jesus looked like. You ready? Okay, let's figure out what the heaven Jesus actually looked like. What the heaven? You know what Jesus didn't look like? This. This painting is called Head of Christ and it's by Warner Salmon. Some people claim that this has been reproduced a billion times. Some people claim that this painting, the one that's on the side of the screen right now, it has performed miracles. But have you ever asked, why does it look the way it does? Look at the photo, look at it really closely. What, what does it remind you of? How does it make you feel? Does it remind you of your second grade teacher? Seriously. The gallery director at Indiana's Anderson University, which has the entire Salman collection, the gallery director says this about Head of Christ. Salman wanted it to have a very similar feeling to an image of a school or professional photo of the time, making it more accessible and familiar to the audience. Jesus, he didn't look anything like this. It said this was a white guy wanting to make Jesus look approachable and, and relatable to other white people. And that's, we can't get mad at that because that's actually pretty common. When we look at all of these paintings of Jesus, what we're going to find out is that it doesn't really look like Jesus. It looks like the cultures that painted that painting. And that is totally true of the earliest drawing of Jesus. This is awesome. This is my favorite in a terrible way. Are you ready for it? Let's check this out. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look closer, look closer. Okay, I'm gonna give some outlines for it. Okay, okay, do you know what it is? Okay, okay, that is a man with a horse head crucified on a cross. Does that look like Jesus? No, yes, you didn't think that Jesus had a head of a horse? Okay, good, exactly the point. This is a piece of graffiti making fun of a really, really early Christian person named Alex Eminos. And the text at the bottom says, Alex Eminos worships his God. This is a piece of graffiti making fun of somebody for worshiping Jesus, making fun of somebody for worshiping a God on the cross. This is not only one of the earliest drawings of Jesus. It might be the earliest. It's definitely the earliest picture of Jesus on the cross. This is also one of the first examples of Christian persecution ever in the history of our religion. So what do we learn from this? Um, actually, we don't learn anything about Jesus. But what we learn is that a lot of people back in the day thought that Christians were stupid for worshiping someone who died for worshiping someone who died on the cross. So that's why I love this painting. It's Jesus, but it's not, but it shows that um, the resurrection, that's the most important thing. It's, it's graffiti, it's a wall scratching, it's a, I, I, I don't really know what it is. It's, I don't know how to summarize this. Um, Jesus had a human head. 
Next picture. This looks great. This looks agreeable until you realize what a Greek scholars have realized that in this picture, Jesus is basically Zeus. And that's what happened a long time ago is they would take a picture of, of Jesus. They would paint a picture of Jesus and then they would make him look like Zeus or make him look like another, another Greek or Roman God in order to show the Greeks and the Romans that Jesus actually was God. They wanted Jesus to look like Zeus so that they would see how powerful Jesus was. So that's why Jesus is sitting like this. He's sitting like a Roman emperor would have sat in a painting of a Roman emperor. The halo around his head, it's the sun. That's what they would have done for Apollo. And the nice curly hair, that, 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 that's not Jewish, that's Greek. Apparently a Greek scholar said that's what Dionysus would have looked like. So Dionysus had really nice shampoo. In 2001, some archeologists and some other people put together a really great CGI model of what an average Middle Eastern Jew would have looked like 2,000 years ago. Take a look at this. People who study archaeology, they think that Middle Eastern Jews would have most resembled Iranians. So think dark brown hair, brown eyes, olive color skin. Also, when you look at the bones from that era, most people think the average Jewish person. So again, not Jesus, but if Jesus was average, he was probably like other average guys. He would have been about five foot five, and that is, um, 166 centimeters to the rest of the world. So with that all being said, compare a Middle Eastern, possibly Iranian looking person to this. This guy is white, like whiter than me, and he probably drinks more pumpkin spice lattes than me too. And he's clean, like he's taken four showers today. And those eyes, those eyes, um, I know girls who pay hundreds of dollars for eyes that look that good. But what about his hair? Did Jesus have long hair? Actually, most scholars, most archeologists think that he didn't. The long hair, that was probably Zeus. That was probably a Greek God. Um, the long beard, that was probably um, to be like a Greek God as well. Maybe people just wanted Jesus to look awesome because beards are awesome. Awkward. One article that I read said that lice was really common 2000 years ago, and so that most men wouldn't have had long hair or long beards because that attracted lice. I have no idea if that's true or not, but that's one of the articles that I read. That's also kind of weird. This is one of the earliest pictures of Jesus. And what's interesting is we have no idea that it's Jesus because of his face. This is, this is super cool and theological. We know that this is Jesus because of what he's doing. He's healing the woman. In this painting, it's the exact same thing. We don't know who Jesus is because of what he looks like. We know who Jesus is because of what he's done. He's making the lame man walk. Here's a cool piece of trivia. There was no painting of Jesus with a beard for over 300 years after Jesus died. This is the first one. Now, with all that being said, we don't know for sure if Jesus did or didn't have a beard. I think he probably didn't, but we can be pretty safe in betting that Jesus had long sideburns because those were one of the things that identified all Jews. So it didn't make Jesus look different. It actually made Jesus look normal, but Jesus would have had long sideburns, but probably not the big manly beard that a lot of paintings of Jesus have. Next thing, did Jesus wear sandals? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he wore sandals. Um, yeah, yeah. Pumpkin spice, he wore sandals. In so many paintings of Jesus, Jesus is wearing either something nice or something white. But we know, and I'm gonna tell you why, Jesus never wore white. Here's a really realistic, what a lot of people respect. Here's a great painting of Jesus. Now look at this. First of all, um, Jesus looks like Christopher Lee playing Sauron in um, Lord of the Rings. Um, he has a great brown cloak. He's next to some Greek looking dude. I think it's Peter, but honestly, he's Greek. It could be Plato or Aristotle. Maybe Plato actually traveled back, I'm sorry, forward in time to meet Jesus. Maybe Plato's an apostle, off topic. If we're trying to figure out what a guy looked like who spent most of his time preaching outside, traveling by foot from city to city, and when he ate at people's houses, he sit on the floor. When we're trying to think about what he looks like, do you think he wore white? Even if Jesus had a white robe, it would have turned brown in like five minutes of walking. Jesus didn't wear white, he didn't wear purple, he was wearing a brown cloak. Now this is just a cool painting. I love this one, it's of the Transfiguration. But in the Transfiguration, Luke 9 says that Jesus' clothes became white 
became like lightning. So what that means is, well, Jesus' clothes weren't normally bright. And that really makes sense. Now here's where it gets weird, and this is th this messed with my brain when I started studying for this episode. Jesus most likely did not wear a long robe. We know from one of Jesus' sermons that um, the rich people, the people who wanted to draw attention to themselves, that they showed how important they were by wearing long robes. Long robes meant money. Long robes meant power. Jesus was not rich. Jesus didn't have a bunch of social power. He was a prophet. He was a preacher. And he preached against being concerned about what you looked like. So Jesus wouldn't have had a long robe. A lot of the examples that I'm showing you are from an article. I'm going to put it down in the comments, so check it out. Also, leave a comment. If you've made it this far, please subscribe. I do weird episodes like this all the time. And what I learned was that Jesus wore a thing called, I'm going to totally butcher this word, Jesus wore an outer cloak, like a jacket called a hemation. Man, I butchered that. And it was an outer jacket that you wore over your chiton, which would be a normal Greek cloak. So Jesus wore two layers. And we know that Jesus wore these two layers because in Mark chapter 5, somebody touches Jesus' hemation, Jesus' jacket, and they are healed. So we know for sure that Jesus had an inner cloak that probably went to his knees and that he would have worn a wool jacket on top of that. Joan Taylor, who wrote an awesome book on this, and I put the link down in the comments, Joan Taylor thinks that this painting of Moses is actually gonna be the one that most resembles Jesus. Check it out. Moses there on the left, he's wearing undyed clothes. He has the tassels on the corner of his clothes, another Jewish thing. He has short hair, a small beard, and he has a short tunic with a hematian. Hematian, ah, gosh, I don't know how to say that. But anyway, this Moses, this is probably what Jesus looked like. Jesus wasn't special looking at all. His vlog wouldn't have been popular. He wasn't a, 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 a short, skinny Asian girl. His vlog would not have had many subscribers. But here's what's cool. I've got one more picture, and this is the closest thing to what we know Jesus looks like. And, and if you wanna know, um, it's kind of bad, it's kind of old. I need you to um, maybe turn up your brightness a little bit, um, get it close to your face, because I, I really want you to see this photo. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put it up now. Jesus looked like you and me. We are normal people. Well, at least I know I am, but we were baptized into Christ. We have clothed ourselves, well, flannel, but we've also clothed ourselves with Christ. You and me, we bear God's image. We are God's image bearers and Jesus, he was God. So I know I, I know I just scammed you, I know I just clickbaited you, but it's also totally true. Jesus wasn't God because of what he looked like. The paintings of Jesus, they don't tell us anything about Jesus. They tell us everything about, about history, about civilization. They don't have anything to do with God. Jesus' looks, they were the most unmemorable part of Jesus. Who cares about what Jesus looked like? I don't. I care about what Jesus did.